This is the William Optics uh, Zenith Star 66 ED uh, Petzval semi apochromatic refractor. It's a William Optics, as you can see, written on the dust cap. And when I remove it, you see the lens. It needs cleaning, so that's something to do. But that's Petzval. This is the 66 millimeter f400. That makes it a focal ratio of 6.1. When the dew shield is not extended, it's quite compact telescope. Uh, and when you extend the dew shield, it becomes a real uh, nice 66 millimeter in the 60 range refractor. It has a, a rotating focuser that you can actually rotate. So with this knob, you can actually rotate any direction you want. And it comes with this uh, prism, 45 degree prism. This is for terrestrial viewing at the moment. But you can use it for uh, viewing the sky and uh, it takes a SCT Schmidt Cassegrain uh, uh, thread. Um, I will try it with the, what I have, but probably it will work with the proprietary uh, William Optics uh, um, diagonal, two-inch diagonal, which has a um, uh, you know SCT connection screw matching with this, and. Uh, it can be used for photography because Petzval, uh, of course, Joseph Petzval was a Hungarian, Austrian, and Slovak uh, optician, mathematician of the 19th century. Uh, right after the invention of the daguerreotype, the photography as we know, uh, they needed a lens that actually can let them photograph quicker in a shorter time. So, under one minute, with the Petzval design that uh, Joseph Petzval designed it could be possible under one minute before that you have to wait for hours just to you know uh, enough light fall on the f uh, whatever material they were using for recording the light uh, so Petzval invented this it provides this lens provides a flat field practically very good for if you're going to do astrophotography we will test it just to see how it is with the visual and uh, and we, you will see that the lens is now recessed inside the dust cap dust cap easily comes out and extends out i have to clean the lens i've not done it yet so when we do it this telescope is ready to be used it is single focuser but it has one of the best uh, crayford focusers that i've ever seen very smooth of course, you can tighten it up if you want attention to it. And uh, but at the moment, it's really nice, smooth. I'm going to use it with the mid 40 millimeter eyepiece just to see what details I can see. I must say it has one of the widest field of views I've seen. This is 40 millimeter, of course, is a, a very low magnification. I'm holding with hand against the eyepiece. I'm not leaning even on the eyepiece, so sometimes you see out of focus because my hand is moving. So I have moved it now to the right side of the field of view. As you can see, it, there is not there is not much change into the uh, clarity. My hand is a little bit moving because I have to float it above the eyepiece. I cannot connect it to it. I'm holding the camera by hand. So I'm now holding the camera against the target. The target is now moved toward the left. I turn the telescope so in a way the, uh, you can see that the margin, how is the flatness? It's clear, so there is no curvature, there is no uh, nothing out of focus other than that my hand moving and uh, 
bringing things to focus or out of it but generally it's in focus so i'm looking at the leaves of the oak tree as you can see i don't see any purple fringing as much as i can uh, look of course this is a very low magnification i will try to zoom on this with a digital zoom and yet i don't see any purple fringing a slightly blue fringe at the lower part of the image you can see and probably that is part of the what you see with the camera camera lenses also can introduce this but anyway at the 40 uh, millimeter which is now I don't see anything it's better than the achromat so so far I couldn't see much uh, you know uh, chromatic aberration with this field of view was flat I could prove that I could uh, agree with that the field of view is flat to the right and left of the center you could not see the image being out of focus in any way and uh, so that that was good the telescope has two uh, elements which are each one of them are uh, uh, are doublet practically that means it makes the four element two here which are uh, kind of uh, introducing the like a long focal length uh, refractor then the petzable lens which is here somewhere in the focuser uh, will uh, change it to a, a flat field and low um, f number uh, refractor so four elements in total uh, so far for a compact telescope that's really good uh, you can use that uh, l plate on a uh, uh, one of these tripod uh, photography tripod uh, i've tried it on the one of these alter sabre ones it couldn't go into the alter sabre bracket so if you have a any adm or anything other than that that can go with the alter sabre it couldn't go so photographic uh, tripod is enough adequate is is light enough for that okay i have removed the sct original uh, attachment of this you can see the petzable lens inside here that's the lens you see immediately in front of you and that's the doublet uh, with the front objective doublet, it becomes four element. So that's a petzable uh, doublet. I'm using the flash just to show you the actual doublet. Now I've changed to a two inch uh, SCT uh, diagonal with attachment that goes directly to the uh, focus in. Uh, mechanism of here and I'm using two inch eyepiece it cannot focus because there is not inward travel enough to show the four objects but the close objects actually you can see I mean I can see the objects which are around 10 meters away from me clearly it comes to focus but the four objects don't come so this distance here is too much the one that William Optic sells is uh, very narrow narrower than this so it has more inward travel that can actually bring in focus the four objects so as it is uh, with this uh, attachment is not useful for seeing the far away objects but it's good for bird watching if you're you know want to watch the birds not very far and uh, but the other one that was a 45 degree terrestrial viewing with the prism that is good for ob observing the terrestrial and the uh, astronomical objects Oh, hallelujah. I removed this attachment, this uh, part of the uh, diagonal, and uh, attached the diagonal directly to its uh, uh, compartment for the mirror to the draw tube of the re refractor, and it comes into focus for four objects. It's a very wide field uh, camera now. <laughs> oh, amazing. Two inch now we are using it. We don't need to buy the diagonal from the... Um, William Optics, that's, that's the one. I'll remove this part. So I'm using this cheap Chinese 26 millimeter eyepiece, it's plus or something. Uh, it's equal to the QX, I think, mid. Very good quality in the sense that the center is very uh, in focus. The margin, as you see, is not in focus. It's not because of the petzable, it's because of the 
uh, this uh, eyepiece. If I use something more expensive, more you know, flat filled, like Pentax, probably I will not see even that one. Or something like Etos or Delos or anything like that. Yeah, this is a 2 inch, 26 millimeter. You can get it cheap from the AliExpress or anywhere like that. There's plenty of it. 2 inch one, 26 millimeter, fully multi coated. And uh, as you saw, it has quite wide field, wide field of view. As you can see now, I have changed this uh, um, William Optic Petzable 66 millimeter uh, uh, Zenith Star into a two inch uh, um, practical wide field telescope. And I will be, hopefully when it is clear, I will be able to look at the stars and uh, uh, you know, sweeping around the Milky Way, looking at the fields of the galaxies. Amazing for that kind of jobs. So without the need for anything, we just can use it as a two inch telescope. And when I put the dew shield back, it's practically a very compact, easily goes into a, you know, a airplane bag. So you can take it anywhere with you if you go into tropical areas that you can see the Milky Way, Southern Milky Way and uh, large Magellanic Clouds, Omega Century and such things, two, uh, 25 Tucana or 5 Tucana, the global cluster. This is perfect for those kind of travels. And uh, yeah, the next best thing is a <laughs> binocular like that, but this is compact. And it's good also for imaging, if you're going for imaging.